Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. And now he went on and he says, now I want you to be, we had to end with this. I didn't go into, I said I'd come back to this. He says, I want you to be, what? Wise in what is good, innocent in what is evil. He says, don't, you don't really need to know evil. But see, our, 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 isn't our culture more in tune to teach you what is evil than what is good? I mean, my son and I, I don't know if I should actually share this, but we were watching a movie together. What, what I, I had seen the first one, and, and the first one was a lot of um, assassinations, killings, and, you know, it was an action movie. It was this John Wick movie, and he just shoots up everybody. And my son, you know, I, I said, you know, I, I like action, and I come from a kind of rough background, so... I don't get freaked out by it. I just, like, I don't know, Just I'm just, like, chilling. UFC, John Wick. I know I'm going to lose some followers right now, but I'm just a real man here, okay? So I, I you know, the guy's, you know, I can't even say that, kicking something, the backsides of all the bad guys. And I'm like, get them, you know? Yeah, I, like, I don't like it when the good guys get portrayed as bad guys and the bad guys get portrayed as good guys and they cross the morality and all that but when the good guy is really taking out the bad guys that's i grew up in the old days when the westerns were the good guys you know took out the bad guys i like those stories and you know in the bible there's a lot of you know good triumphs over evil in fact i'm going to show you in just a second the very end of this verse that good is going to triumph over evil if you don't like that theme i guess you could leave now but it's coming <laughs> And I'm watching this movie with my son, and he says to me, Dad, do they really do those marker things? What, you know, guy gives a marker, and now you owe him, and it's like a blood oath and all that stuff. And I, and, you know, they don't really do that stuff, or they don't really kill people like that. And I'm thinking, from my bring, upbringing, I can't actually tell him the answer. I mean, it's not correct. But I'm like, yes, they do. And he's like, how do you know this stuff? And I'm thinking... You don't need, and, and he's curious. He wants to know, well, what about it? Or how's it work? Or, and that's, that's totally normal. But the problem is, is that I got to teach this verse the very next day. And this verse says you're supposed to be wise concerning what? Good. And you're supposed to be innocent concerning what's evil. And, and what I know is evil. So I really can't tell you that part. I mean, it's not... It's, in fact, every time I've shared, even my testimony, when it, I came to the Lord hanging out with Satanists, I know some of you went the nice route, went to church your whole life, did the good thing. I kind of deviated. And went the, you know, I, I started, good Catholic boy, altar boy, had to learn Latin, you know, do mass with the priest, everything. But then my parents divorced. And it was back in the day when you got a divorce, all of a sudden, we were shunned. We were like, the, the, the nuns treated us like we had goodies. And that's putting it lightly. It was like, oh, oh, you're bad. And we just felt like spiritually dirty or something. I mean, it was just not a good feeling. And my mom, she's like, I'm out of here. And she started going to different churches, trying different things. And it was during that hippie, you know, you know, the whole hippie drug, try everything trip. And she's doing those things. And I'm like, my friends are going, to, ah, forget the church. Come, come join us. We have this secret group. And we, we, we're really loyal. And boy, you talk about loyal. There's one thing that I got to really give props to. My Satanist friends were more devoted to their faith, even though their faith is completely baloney and wrong. The devotion factor is what I commend them on. I wish I could get Christians to be as devoted to the righteousness as I see these Satanists devoted to unrighteousness. But when it comes to this scripture, being wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil, all that Satanists taught me was what is evil. 
In fact, they made me too wise in what was evil. And I used to share things about what we would do in those evil circles. And I, I just was sharing from the perspective of, this is what I did, but now God's delivered me, and I'm free, and I don't have to do that garbage anymore. And when I would share my testimony, I was just going over the facts. This is just stuff I lived through. And people would come to me and go, you know, I haven't slept for six weeks. You freaked me out, you know, like you, re you did some really, cr and, and you mean there's people really do this stuff? And I'm like, you know what I did? I did a disservice. I didn't realize I was young in the Lord. I was just saying, thank you, God, for delivering me from all that garbage. And they're like, what garbage? Oh, man, you know, let me tell you. And I just told them the garbage. But I didn't realize I was teaching what was evil instead of what was good. My, you know, we grow and learn. So I, I learned to not share my testimony in great detail about the darkness. Just that God delivered me from that garbage and brought me into the light. His light. That's the good part. And I love to teach about the good stuff in the light. And Paul, as he's wrapping up his letter to the church at Rome, these Italians, <laughs> this hits home to me. Hey, you guys, you Italians. If you know any Italians, Barry, you know that this is probably really hitting close to the heart. Don't be learning what's evil, even though the whole culture says you should know about that stuff. That is not what we're supposed to focus on. See, this might not mean much to you, but this means a lot to me. He's ending the letter to the church at Rome with a really strong point. You want to go on in your faith? You want to grow? You want to be transformed? I mean, wasn't this the book where it says, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your what? Your mind? That you can prove what the good and acceptable will of God is. You want to prove the good and acceptable will of God? You got to let God transform you. And the great way to let God transform you is to change what you put your mind on. Mahalo for joining us. If you'd like more information about us, go to our website, AmazingGraceKona.com and click the link to follow us on Facebook. That's AmazingGraceKona.com. Mahalo and God bless.